into what should be in NASCAR Heat 3. So, um, you know, the, the new NASCAR game, NASCAR Heat 3, well, um, I'm going to be doing some things that I think should be in NASCAR Heat 3. So, first of all, let's go ahead and put in more numbers. So, um, more numbers would be nice. So, we need a bigger variety of numbers. I mean, we go to those uh, online races, and there's like multiple numbers for the custom cars. I mean, the AI, the original AI cars are fine, but the custom cars, there needs to be bigger numbers. Like, let's let's go back to the next car thunder 2004 and put triple digits. Next, sponsors. We need more sponsors like McDonald's from Kyle Larson, Jamie McMurray, and all of them. I mean, we need, like, a lot more sponsors. We need at least every sponsor a car has in a season. I mean, it makes the game bigger, but it's better. And, yeah, we need to fix that. Here's another problem. When you're in split screen, yeah, we need to keep split screen, by the way, and when you're in split screen, we need both custom cars to be able to use to be used on both profiles. Like, say I have a custom car on my profile, we go to split screen, my, my, the other player can't use their custom car, can they? Well, we need to fix that for NASCAR Heat 3. Is that okay, 704 games? More realistic crashes. I am pretty irritated when I hit the wall and it barely damages my car. I slam it, I get no damage. I have full damage turned on, no damage when I hit the wall. We need to fix that for NASCAR Heat 3. That's a big thing. We need to fix the damage. We need to make the damage more durable. We might need to add another section like full damage or max damage as the next option. Next, more handling on a car. Like, and it, like where you can, like, you know, there's more adjustments and stuff. I mean, it's just plain. I mean, I know there's a lot of adjustments you can make to your car when going to pit road. But, you know, the garage and before the race, but that's only when your stability helps turn off. So, yeah, I, that needs to be fixed. Next, um, they're making it to where there's an option to where you can control the car during caution. And you can control the car going to the pit road. But, you know... Still obeying the rules, otherwise you'll leave it like flat. So that option should be in there. Next, you should make they should make it to where there's automatically Darlington paint schemes from the Darlington throwback race. They should make it to where there's automatically throwback paint schemes at Darlington in the game itself, not just to install updates to do it. And make it to where your car can have those throwback paint schemes as well. And yeah. Next, add to your um, NASCAR E2 profile. Um, when you go to Quick Race, it doesn't say on your custom car that you're with RCR or Hendrick Motorsports or Joe Gibbs, Jeremy Clemens Racing. With, uh, it, they need to add that instead of just having two, three, three dots. You really need to add that. Plus, you, if you have a camera, they should also add, make it to where you can take a picture of yourself and I should add a little option to that. And options are in the um, options. Make the the car tapping more realistic. When you tap someone's car, it's supposed to rattle in real life. In the games, it just boop. But that works too. But still, we need to fix that. And also, um, we need to fix. Um, when like make it easier to spin out in that mode, like someone taps you and it moves you a little bit too much. I mean, it sounds a little bit unfair, but we need to make this game really realistic where there's an option to where you can do that. I think it's unfair and don't use it. Kind of obvious. So you know that part's important. Next, add the um, add some 
commentary when there's crashes, and big thing, add replays when there's caution of what caused the caution. If it's like NASCAR Thunder 2002, NASCAR Thunder 2004, another throwback to that. If it's debris, car crash, big one, I want to see it. I don't want to just go through the race like, okay, we don't know what caused that crash. I'm just going to go on with the race, so yeah. So yeah, that's all I really want for NASCAR E3. If you disagree on anything or um, say there needs to be more, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. And make sure to click that subscribe button. If you liked the video, go ahead and like the video. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.